Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to talk about plants that I used to hate but now own. I didn't actually hate any of these plants. Hate is a very strong word but it makes for a better title because otherwise it would have been plants that I did not really care for but I now own or love. Yeah, so I didn't hate any of these plants. Just putting that out there. And also things are that are on my plucket list or plant bucket list. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know I have the hashtag plucket list. <laughs> The first plant on this list is actually Monstera adinsoni. This is the Monstera adinsoni regular format, I believe. I was not the biggest fan when the whole plant community kind of blew up. I feel like Monstera adinsoni have always been trendy. And when I first saw it, I I don't know. I didn't think I would ever really want to own one. I, I thought the leaves looked kind of weird, but now I love that they're kind of weird. Now I actually own two of them. So this is the second one that I got. And this is the narrow form that I have. Have, but yeah my first impression of them is that I didn't really want it. I actually saw a pretty full Monstera Adinsoni at Mickey's when I first went like over a year ago and I didn't pick it up. It was a great price. I think it was $19.99 or something like that. I just didn't want it and then later on I couldn't stop thinking about it and then I wanted it. It's not necessarily because of things that get trendy on Instagram or anything like that because they've always been trendy. My first impression of it was just not that great. Yeah because there are still trendy plants out there that I am not the biggest fan of. I'm not really a Hoya person. I don't own any Hoyas except there are a few that I think are cool like a Hoya Curtsii, I believe that's what it's called. So I'm starting off with plants that I actually own now. I do have some on my plucket list. Next on my list is actually Raphidophora tetrasperma and this is, it's a little one leaf low guy, but he's so cute. I don't know what I was thinking when I first saw it. When I first saw it on Instagram, I kind of thought it looks like a weird Monstera, which I guess is called a mini Monstera for a reason. I grew to love it. These plants grew on me. Yeah, it's still a one leaf low guy, by the way, and it's growing right there you can see. I don't know what I was thinking with some of these plants because I love them so much now. I didn't think I would own it and I know how much of a hot commodity it is now and they're actually popping up everywhere but those I know it's kind of controversial whether or not those are tissue cultured versus a different Raphidophora. Raphidophora petrusa something like that. Next on my list is actually a neon pothos. I thought the color was tacky before. I love it now. I don't know why I ever thought that because I think it's so cute. Yeah so Neon Pothos is the next one and then I also do love the Neon Philodendron now and that was another one I didn't really care for but the Neon Philodendron right now is actually on my bucket list and it's so easy to find. I'm just not gonna buy it right now because it's so easy to find since I am in the temporary living space. So that is one on my bucket list that I will get when we move in. Neon Philodendron and Neon Pothos it was the other ones I didn't really like before. Look how much has grown. It's crazy. This was a three leaf cutting at first. It was so small too. So the next one on my list is actually something I'm already on a waiting list for. Pink Princess Philodendron. For that plant, a lot of people actually, I think, are split either way. They love it or some people actually do hate the Pink Princess Philodendron. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't love it. I think it's because the growth pattern, it kind of grows weird. Yeah, I, I think it's just the growth pattern that I didn't like at first. But I've seen photos of such beautiful ones over time. That's another plant that grew on me so that is on my list it's on my bucket list still but I'm gonna get it eventually those so far are the plants that have grown on me that I didn't really care for at first let me know in the comments below if you have any plants that you didn't really like at first but now love or own or you want next I'm gonna be talking about my bucket list plants <laughs> The whole reason why I even have a plug it list is because it helps me to keep my plant collection pretty contained. It means that I'm not going to go out there and just buy all the plants that I think are kind of cool because there are plants that I think are awesome but I don't think I will own at least for now. Nothing's for sure because my mind always changes because I've gotten some plants that I eventually fell out of love with and then I ended up rehoming. So it can go either way. I might not like a plant at first and then I end up loving it later like these ones I just showed you. Yeah, having a bucket list means that I will actually write it out on my phone 
like right here i have a note on my phone it kind of helps me to really think about it over time because a lot of the plants that i do want are not that common not that i only want uncommon plants or rare plants it's just that having it on the list makes me really think over time whether or not i want them and i'm gonna go out of my way to get one of them i have added things to my list before and some of these things have just been on here for over a year and other things i've checked off other things i've actually taken off without getting it because i end up changing my mind later a way that i stay minimal i guess with a plant collection that i absolutely love is having a plucket list oh another thing tag me on instagram with the hashtag plucket list for any plants that you are on your plucket list or things you end up getting and i feature them in my stories things that are on my plucket list are not necessarily only rare plants i actually have common plants on there too that i will get in the future like i just talked about the neon pothos before yeah i'm gonna start with the pink princess philodendron which i am getting probably soon-ish. Number two is a variegated string of hearts which I am on a waiting list for too. Another one on my list is Monstera Siltipacana El Salvador. So that one is not like the one that I have. It has more silver in it. If you've seen Monstera Siltipacanas on Instagram you might have been seeing the El Salvador one because that one has more of the silvery line markings and it's very distinct line markings. I still love the one that I have but that one doesn't have as much silver on it and at first I was very confused because I thought they were the same one. I just thought something was wrong with mine, that I was doing something wrong, but they are actually different varieties. Next is Syndapsis trubii dark form. I have a Syndapsis trubii moonlight and I love that one. I just think the dark one is really cool. So that one's another one on my list. The next one is String of Hearts Silver Glory and I just think this one's a really cute one. And when I see them on Instagram, they're usually a really small one. I think they're cute regardless because the shape is a little bit different the coloring is cute yeah so they seem to be very uncommon the only string of hearts i've seen in person and that i have is a regular string of hearts but these other varieties are just so cool next on my list are actually common plants i just want really large ones of these plants in the future i just want a bunch of large trillion plants all over my house so i do have a sabu blue pothos already but i want a really large one i have been on the hunt at walmart too because some people find massive ones at walmart for only 15 dollars i actually have a sabu blue pothos already and it is on my wire grid and i wanted to stay on my wire grid because i think it looks really cute but i do want a large one of it the one i got is from steve's leaves and i believe i paid $15 or more on it and it was a lot smaller than it is now so those people who are finding it at Walmart I was shocked when I first found out that that people were getting them at Walmart for so much larger than the one that I got mine for but that is on my list a large Cebu Blue trailing pothos that I can find for a great price next is a large Hartley philodendron and i already have one it's just the green one that i want and i just want a really large trailing one because again this is another one that's on my wire grid but i want a large one just for my walls in the future of my new home and i could easily get this at any nursery right now but i'm not going to do it because again it's a common plant that i can just get at any time so i'm just going to wait on this until we move in next is a neon philodendron and i just want a large one of this as well again waiting on this because it's a common plant i know i'll be able to find anywhere even like home depot next is another relatively common plant not as common as a philodendron brazil but it is a rio philodendron i have the rio sport from gabriella's plants but the silver stripe philodendron or rio philodendron that i have found at random nurseries they look very different do you think that looks different from my rio sport i think it looks pretty different i think they look pretty similar i think they this one has more of a lime green look to it, and then the Rio Sport looks like it has more of this color in it the bluish silver color in my opinion they look different from my rio sport and the philodendron brazil so that's another large trailing plant that i want that is relatively common so again waiting on that one as well let me know in the comments below of your thoughts about this and if you have plants in your collection that you at first didn't like but now you absolutely love let me know in the comments below if you have plants that have grown on you and also plants that are on your plucket list you can also tag me on instagram with the hashtag pluck it list for your pluck it list plants that's it for this video thanks for watching bye el salvador